Hey guys, it's Big Paul. Welcome back. Big Paul's trucking. Like and subscribe. Tell a friend. It's good stuff here. Hey, check it out. I want to show you where we're at. Um, well, here, let me turn the camera over this way. So basically, I picked everything up for that gantry crane. I picked that beam off the ground. I got a little video of that. Set it over here. So it's sitting. I got cleared off two workbenches. See this? And they had all kinds of junk on them. Probably took me an hour on each, maybe an hour and a half each, but they barely fit. Um, but they're pretty sturdy uh, workbenches, so they're not going to have any problem with this amount of weight. This beam here is only 400 and, uh, I think, 415 pounds, and this one is obviously less. So there's not even 800 pounds on two workbenches, so it can take that easily. So anyways, the reason it's flipped over opposite of this one is I'm going to be getting this side ready to prime. And I need to, uh, to believe it or not, there's some uh, there's some sharp spots on the edge of this frame right here on both sides. So I'm going to run one of them flapper wheels down that edge and uh, fl flapper wheel these uh, stickers off that I can't get the rest of the way off. And basically get it ready so uh, tomorrow I'm going to get some uh, primer from Napa. And we're going to prime the inside. And then we're going to uh, flip it over and start marking holes and uh, getting it ready to drill. So, hey, you know, I wanted to show you guys this old frame. Boy, I tell you, it was in bad shape. Now that it's laying up on the bench, I mean, it was rusted through, busted, patched. The other side's cracked. I mean, it's just in terrible shape. But you can see up here where we got to uh, cut this taper. I got it sitting kind of close to my vise, but uh, you can see where they uh, cut the uh, flange and uh, cut that taper right down there. To cut the two, you know, I got to drill these two holes. They're going to be the first two I mark and drill. And then we're going to. Uh, Head on down the rail with the holes, marking them. A lot of them are in the same line, if you notice. But uh, it ain't a big deal, just a thing. I'm going to set up the camera and let you guys watch me work for a little bit. And then we'll, uh, actually, we'll probably go to time lapse. So you guys get a, oh, uh, so you guys get the full view. That way I don't cut it off. So thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I want you to see where we're at. I got some red oxide primer on the inside of the new rail. And I've just been marking up the uh, old rail here as to what holes I'm actually drilling, what holes I'm not, what holes are for what, and what holes are for what not. I want to just show you guys where we're at. A little bit here, I'm going to flip this beam over, or this uh, frame rail over, so they're both laying the same way, you know, laying, laying the same way with the flange down. Um, and then I'm going to actually going to cut this rail in half and move the front section to the front of the frame and the rear section to the rear of the frame, because there's going to be an extra four feet in the middle. So uh, then I can uh, look at them where they're going to lay. All right, thanks for watching. Hang tight. Um, here we're just testing out. We're using my new uh, Vivor plasma cutter. It actually works really good. And that was uh, 
double frame where we were cutting and we got through all of it. Hey everyone, I want you to check this out. So let me show you what I did here. I uh, cut this frame off with my plasma cutter and uh, stretched it out. Now I know the one rail's upside down, we're just using it for reference. I gotta flip it over once the paint dries. But this is where the holes are gonna be. Obviously I gotta cut the taper in this part of the frame and you know there's gonna be all the holes in through here I got the holes all marked the ones we have to have as you can see well it's upside down all the holes from that down that way we have to have that way it mounts the fuel tanks and everything but uh, check this out I guess we're gonna be stretching it a little further than I thought I was thinking it was gonna be four feet but here's the actual measurement so I'm not cutting any frame. That's where we're stretching it to. So it's going to be stretched 57 inches. A little more than four feet. Oh, this truck's going to look so sweet. I cannot wait to like pull into them truck shows, smash that air ride, drop the whole truck on the ground. It's going to look sweet. everybody we're gonna cut this frame we've measured we've measured and we've measured now we gotta cut this taper just like this frame you see that it'll match exactly and then we'll start drilling holes I figure you guys might want to watch
Oh, here we are grinding the uh, taper smooth so it fits, getting it ready to paint. All right, you guys, welcome back. I want to show you where we're at. We are getting somewhere. Check out what's behind me. You guys see this? Oh, she's going to be a big girl. Oh, my goodness. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. All right, now check this out. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this beautiful frame. So now I just got it stuck in here where the two frames overlap. I got her clamped in, clamped down. You can see down there, I don't know if you can see that where they overlap. Up top here, boy, that's just beautiful where they overlap. It was all the way in the front, right where it was from the factory. So the next step, what we're doing. Since I got this crane, I can do it this way. You can see all these holes are right there. No big deal. So I got this tool called a, a plug punch. And it's uh, it's going to be, what if it's a half inch hole, you put the half inch plug punch. If it's a 5 eighths, you use a 5 eighths. I got all sizes. You put them in the hole, and it puts a center punch right in the center of the hole not off the one side or the other. So if it's a half inch hole, it'll put a half inch center punch in the center. So that's something that not everybody has. So anyways, we got that. And uh, this rail, we're gonna mark all these holes, punch them all, and then we're gonna take this back out. But my friend, Joe, look what he had sitting in his shop. He's got nothing but Peterbilt's. And I know it's a little different bracket, but it's the exact same bolt pattern. You see that? That bolt pattern, you guys, is the same as this bolt pattern because this truck's got that Peterbilt air ride cutoff. So he had one of them from one of his old trucks just laying around. So I'm going to use that to uh, as my template for where the uh, axles are going to go on this rail. So no big deal. We're going to mark them in the front, uh, and then we're going to pull that rail right back out. Set it over here on the benches, and then tomorrow we're going to drill. I'm sure I can drill that tomorrow, three, four hours worth of drilling. I got that new mag drill, my Vivor mag drill. Be the first time using it. I actually can't wait. But uh, look at that frame. Boy, that truck's going to be long. You're going to take this truck seriously now. It's not going to be quite so short and cut off and bang you around. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. I hope the camera does it justice, guys. We're going to leave the back end square. I'm going to put a real hitch on the back so I can haul all my trailers with this truck. Look at that. Pin straight. Oh, my goodness. Look how straight that is. Boy, is that beautiful, guys. That is beautiful. All right. We're going to pull it back out after we mark it. Then we'll drill it. I'll probably get you some video of us drilling. All right, you guys, you guys got to check this out. I know I got to stop cutting in front of the camera, but you guys ain't going to believe this. This Vivor uh, mag drill, this thing's awesome. I mean, I'm impressed. I figure I'm going to drill some holes, let you guys watch, because, I mean, look at these beautiful half-inch holes. This thing's uh, cutting in 15 20 seconds run it in oil probably run for probably last forever it's got this little uh tip in there that lets you uh 
put it right in your center punch. I didn't know if I'd have to drill pilot holes, but I don't, and I'm not going to. So most of these are half inch on this uh, front of this rail, and then there's only four of them that are five eighths. So I got those marked so I don't drill them because I got to get the bigger bit for that. So, anyways, let's let's do one. Let you guys watch. This is uh, pretty unbelievable. <clears throat> So what I was doing is I run it down until I get that tip right in the center punch. And, and right there, you can feel it. It's in that center punch. Turn your magnet on. Boom. That thing ain't moving. I mean, that's unbelievable. So now you can raise it up, look it down, make sure it goes in that center punch. Yep. Perfect. Actually, I think I'm going to move it back just a shade, but you know, this way you're You can look at it. Oh, yeah, it's right there Perfect. All right Watch this Oil Check that out, guys. How does it get much easier than that? That just made a half-inch hole. A beautiful half-inch hole. So nice that you can drop a bolt right in the hole. Perfect. Beautiful. That's faster than I can do with a reamer. So that's how we're going to do it. So you guys can watch me do a few. Pretty sweet. I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, I mean, it seems to go slow enough. I don't see why it wouldn't last a long time. So, there we go. We got those are five eighths. So, we got one, a two, and we got these five eighths ones. We're just, and then we'll go in front. All right. So, we got two more back here. <clears throat> All right. All right. Nice. It's just that easy, guys. Well, I'm not going to bore you watching you, uh, having you watch me drill 20 holes, so I think I am going to stop it now and get back with you. Get them all drilled, mark that rear suspension, drill it, then when the whole rail's done, done I'll show you guys. Thanks for watching. I don't know, guys. It doesn't get much easier than this. These are the uh, holes for the Peterbilt Air Ride. You can see there's six for each mount. And uh, then when I get down, I hold them up, they match perfect. Hey everybody, it's Big Paul, sneak peek. Frame rail's about ready to go in. Check it out real quick. 
So we're at. It's all drilled. Look at the drill. And it's ready to go in. Peterbilt. Peterbilt. Going to be in there today. All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. All right. Well, the moment has come. We're putting the frame in the truck for the last time. I want to show you guys what we got going on here. It's drilled so it ties in there to there. It's going to tie in. It's going to be beautiful. You remember how we did that. There's my rail. Now, all the rest of the things that are going to go in the middle here, the fuel tanks, you know, the battery box, the fuel tank, the cab mount goes right over here. I'm going to drill those after I get it on the truck because I might move some things around. Uh, you can see over here, we uh, measured and measured and measured and got our Peterbilt air ride now where that's going to go. Um, and then we're going to do the other frame to match. And uh, then once we get the second frame rail in, we're going to, uh, well, that's not true, actually. We get the first rail in, then we're going to slide the rear ends back and bolt it to the new rail. And then I can take my straps off and I can uh, redo this rig to the other new rail and then pull the other old rail. So ain't nothing but to do it. So let's uh, get ready. I'm going to set you guys up on a tripod. You can watch. All right, you guys, here we go. Let's pick it up. Let's put it in. We got a sip of coffee so I can function. Oh, yeah. We're good now. I'm fueled up. All right, guys. I hope you can see something. We're going to put this over there. Slide it in. I got six bolts I want to get in up front here. Once those are in, the rail is going to be sitting on a jack stand in the back, and it's going to sit there until I move things around. Hmm, gotta slide it back. I was hoping we got a better center of gravity. But we don't. It's gotta be standing right straight up like this in order for me to put it in. <clears throat> Try that. Oh yeah. Much better. All right, let's move this gantry back, and then we're going to put it in place. Not too much, though. A little bit. Well, we're getting, uh, can't wait to get that other rail out and get all that old junky looking metal out of the way. Definitely a uh, eyesore. And boy, when this thing gets all primed and painted, it's going to look uh, like a brand new truck. But it's a hobby truck. You would never spend this much time. Well, you put rails on a working truck, but, you, you know, I'm going to be putting... $500 a gallon paint on this thing. Paint the frame. So it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't do that to a working truck. You'd paint it black. It'd be good enough. All right. I know I'm moving this thing all around. Maybe I should have done that ahead of time. But here we are. Okay. Had a little mic trouble. We got it worked out. Let's put it in. Uh -uh. <clears throat>
Bro, what are you doing? Got to get this thing to hang pretty level, you guys. I got to slide it up a little more. It's not a big deal, but being that I'm doing this by myself. That's still not enough. Oh, wait. That's the problem. I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> Hold tight. Try this. Come on, just give me a break. I think I'm a little too far. Oh, maybe this is only the last time. Okay. Hey, we got her. Pretty much neutral gravity. All right. And in there, I'm gonna slide this over. both sides well I'll tell you what would be neat about these one of these gantries if you had power wheels on the bottom of it oh my gosh would that be sweet because then you know you could have another remote to go forward at least forward and backward that'd be nice okay let's we'll get this lined up a little better Hold on, we're caught on the strap. Yep. There we go. Almost. Okay. Do a little further forward. Positive pressure. All right, so let's see here. Yep, it's a little too high still, but not too bad. Let me find my big clamps. There we go. Getting there. All right, well, we are close. Let me uh, get an alignment tool, AKA a chisel, a chisel that'll sit in the hole and hold the, you know, hold the hole. 
in alignment while I get some bolts in. Okay, we are in alignment. Oh my gosh, every hole's perfect, you guys. Wow, pretty happy about that. Okay, let's put some bolts in it. All right, I'm actually going to need a couple more washers for these two bolts. I should have been prepared, but I wasn't. There they are. Luckily, they were pretty easy to grab. <sighs> All right, these first two. Mm -hmm. There's a hammer. Get that in there. Got to pull this up a little. Well, that did a lot right there. There's the first bolt. Wonderful. Oh, what a relief, you guys. You know, you're punching holes, you're drilling holes. You know, I mean, you're center punching, you're drilling, and you're hoping it's <laughs> in the right place when you're done. But, wow, they're perfect. So I'm pretty happy with that. Let's get this front spring mount put on here. You know what? I think I'm going to bring you guys in a little closer. All right, you guys, that way I got you coming in over here where I can see you. Give you a little better view. All right, this side front well, that don't make sense are the bushings or the back of the bush hmm oh yeah okay the front too the uh, battery box is incorporated into the uh, front uh, hanger and uh, I gotta put the bolts in the right place so the bolts go in the back and you'll see these big spacers those go in the front <clears throat> Let's see here. Try to get this in place. Let's see. All right, are we hitting the jack stand? No, we're not. Okay, we're getting this strap out of here because we already got two bolts in it. It ain't going nowhere. And I got steel. On my stand because I was weighing it down. I was worried it was going to lift up. But it doesn't look like that's a problem. Thank goodness. Okay. Let's get these bolts in. Five-eighths bolts plus two half-inch bolts. That rail is not coming back out. That's done. I still got to buy all the bolts for this because they're all going to be replaced. But I needed to reuse these two for the bracket. Now I was going to reuse these because these are like uh, grade 10 bolts. They're definitely worth reusing. Mac uh, really has good bolts. That's one thing I can say. They don't... Uh, 
But you guys notice how those all lined up? I mean, perfectly. And those, you look down through there, you can see through every hole. It's almost a miracle. Whew, amazing. All right, well, uh, let me show you where we're at. And that's probably going to be uh, about the end of this video. We can see you guys. We got some bolts in the front. Look at all the rest of the holes. Let's see, I can turn them so you can see it. See all the holes? They all line up perfect. So we've done a good job. Now, on the back here, I know, guys, this is terrible camera work. As you can see, we got our Peterbilt holes already all done up right there. So we, uh, once we slide this, uh, these rear ends back, we're going to bolt them on. And then we're going to put our hitch on the back. So this is working out great. Uh, here, let's go over here, guys. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, the channel is growing, guys. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you for watching to the end. We're at, last I looked, like 1,120 subscribers. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, guys, we're going to, I'm going to finish bolting this one in. I'm going to start taking that one apart, and I'm going to start a new video on that. Uh, if you haven't watched the beginning of this, you should go back in my series and uh, or watch the beginning of me taking it apart, pulling the engine, and you can get caught up to where we're at. So thanks for watching. Big Paul's out!